If you have short nails and love glitter ombres but aren't sure if you can make it work with short nails, then this one's going to be for you. What's up, Nail Crew? It's Nicole, your fellow Nail Obsessed DIYer. Today we are doing one of my favorites, I Love Glitter Ombres, and I'm going to show you how you can do them on pretty short nails. I have clear builder gel down on all my nails, and I'm going to start with a really neutral color. It's this really light, sheer, shimmery pink. That is going to be the base for my glitter ombre. I wanted something with like a little bit of color, but nothing that's going to take away from the glitter ombre part. So the color that I'm using is called Just a Dusting. It's this really sheer pink from OG Dip Powder. And I like to apply two layers of it. I don't go all the way to the edge of my nail on the second dip. Since I'm doing a glitter ombre at the tip, I wanted to make sure that I left a little bit of room, especially because when your nails are short, on your second dip, I don't like to go all the way to the edge of my nail. So when I'm doing the glitter ombre from the top, I don't have the dip base and powder go all the way to the top on the second nail. And if I was doing the ombre from the bottom of my nail, I would skip putting the base down all the way to the bottom. So I like to leave that space for the glitter. Then I'm gonna do this gorgeous, like goldish, bronze-ish, greenish <laughs> I'm terrible at color descriptions. It's called Anybody Want a Peanut. These two colors that I'm using, this one and the glitter, they are both from a uh, Princess Bride collection. And I am so feeling all the fall colors right now. One thing that I messed up on this Manny was I did my thumb in this Anybody Want a Peanut in my middle finger and I meant to do my pinky. For some reason, when I was going through and doing my nails, I somehow totally forgot to do my pinky. I still ended up loving the final look, but I really wanted the pinky to have this goldish bronze glitter as well just because I felt like only having one color of it one finger of it on my middle finger and then you know my thumbs kind of on the side it just didn't pull together as well as I had wanted to but you know we're doing our own nails so sometimes I forget when I'm <laughs> dipping my own nails where I'm putting what colors or I put the wrong color on the wrong finger and I know a lot of people like to change it and would you know since I, they use peel base they'll just pop off a nail I don't do that okay I don't play like that once I spent all this work doing a dip mani and it's on it's staying on if you remember a few months ago if you've watched my channel before I tried to do some jawbreaker nails nails and all pink and they ended up looking like diseased weird looking nails and I kept those on for like a week because <laughs> that's just what I do if I'm going to spend all this time doing my nails I'm going to at least admire them for a few days even if the design or whatever I'm not crazy about uh it's still a learning experience for me and something that I really enjoy so once I'm done with anybody want a peanut color then I go through and I, I top with clear dip powder and then I activate it and I do that because I'm about to use chunky glitter and I don't want to get any chunky glitter is contaminated into that gorgeous gold color. I do this anytime I'm using a shimmer or a solid. I like to go through and top with clear and activate it before I use the glitters. I am very messy and you can see in most of my videos I usually end up spilling at least one color. I don't think in this Manny I spilled any colors though so like that's pretty good for me <laughs> not to spill any dip powder but I always go through and I add my clear and I activate before I do my glitter nails. This way there's a much lower chance of me accidentally getting a glitter stuck in one. Now we're going to use this gorgeous chunky glitter. It's called Is This a Kissing Book? If you're a Princess Bride fan, you know exactly where that is from in the movie. So whenever you're doing chunky glitter on short nails, what I try to do on the first layer is I do not try to pick up a lot of the chunky glitter pieces. I just try to get like whatever the other glitter in it is. I try to pick up a decent amount of that so that on the second dip, then I can focus picking up more of the chunky glitter pieces. And I always pour my chunky glitters into or any kind of my glitters into these dip cup liners. I used to use cupcake liners, but I tended to make a much bigger mess of them. So using these have been much easier for me. And then I shake up the glitter. So I do that whether I'm using glitters, flakes, or foils, I shake it up a little bit because then the pieces that you want come up to the top. So you can just lay your nail right on top and I keep a piece of masking tape or washi tape. I've actually been using washi tape recently because it's a little bit skinnier than masking tape so it can stay on your nail and like doesn't get in the way as much I do that I put that on the uh, one of my fingers usually my pointer or middle finger of my opposite hand and then I can use that to press down the glitters because you don't want to get the dip base and the glitter and the powder all over your hands the more that you get it on your skin the more likely you are to get contact dermatitis and your skin can get itchy even if it's you know just for a day or two so I try to avoid that as much as I can and then you don't have dip base and glitter stuck all over your skin now 
Now, you probably don't get all the big chunky pieces that you want to pick up on the first and second dips. So what I like to do is pour a little bit, a couple little pieces out, and then I take the chunky glitters, I add some dip base all over my nails, and then I just place the chunky glitters where I need them to be. For this mini, I was using my stabby sticks, those, those little clear sticks that are really pointy that I use to trace around my cuticles. I just use that to pick up the glitter pieces. So I'll dab a little bit of it into the dip base that's on my nail and then take it and pick up one of the glitters and set it on my nail. It's really, really easy. If you have a wax tool, it is much easier. Uh, you don't have to put any dip base on it, but I couldn't find my wax tool and, and then I finally found it and it was broken. So I need to replace the tips of the wax tool and I just haven't done that yet so I just keep using my little stabby sticks or you can also use a toothpick to do this or you can use one of the orange wood sticks that's those wooden orange wood sticks you can use to trace around your cuticles as well you can do that with picking up the glitters now we're going to go to the glitter ombre and here's how I start when my nails are really short I always start by applying the dip base and over most of my nail. I do not go to the very edge because what happens if you go to the very edge and sometimes you get a little bit too much of your ombre down there. So I don't go all the way to my cuticles and I take an ombre brush and I start tapping at the top and I don't go crazy with the tapping because I know that my nails are short. So I want to just do a little bit of tapping and I keep doing it to add more and add more. And then I go through and I can place some of the chunky glitters. That is how you do a chunky glitter ombre, regardless of how long your nails are. You can tap first and then go through and place the chunky pieces because most likely when you're tapping a chunky glitter, you're only going to pick up a couple pieces. And this way when you go and place a bunch then you can put them exactly where you want them so it'll give you that effect that they fell there perfectly on their own but they actually didn't you just place them and you can see this glitter ombre really nicely but it didn't really pick up the chunky pieces but the little smaller glitters were, were picked up really well with the ombre brush so it turned out really nice and when I am doing an ombre at the tip I know some people like to point their finger up like a lot before they try to ombre it I don't like to do that because because I feel like I get too much falling down at the bottom. So I only tilted my ring finger up slightly as I was doing the tapping. This way the ombre wouldn't get all the way down to the bottom of my nail. That is my little trick for when your nails are short. And I actually do that when my nails are long too. I just feel like I can control the ombre better than if I point my finger up like really high when I'm trying to do that ombre part. And there are some, some medium-sized glitters in here and small glitters here. So I placed a couple of those too, just to make sure it gave it like that really cascading natural effect of the ombre. And then you can go through and you're ready to top with clear dip powder. That I always do, regardless of what color I'm using. If I'm using dip liquids, I am topping with clear dip powder last. It seals everything in, especially if you like to buff and shape. I don't have to do a lot of buffing and shaping with my nails because these liquids go on nice and thin. You know, over the years, I've learned how to get my manis to go on smoother, you know, with lots of practice. So I don't have to do much buffing and smooth buffing and shaping, but I still like to put clear dip powder on. I feel like it just really helps your mani to stay too if you're somebody who likes to wear them a long time. Now, if you're still struggling with basic dip application, you are not ready for ombres yet, make sure that you check out the first pin comment. It is going to be my link to my Dip Nails 101 guide. It is everything you need from prep to application to removal, and it is over 45 pages. Okay, everything you guys need, there is no second guessing what you're gonna have to do. So make sure you check that out. And once I finish getting all my clear dip powder on this Manny, I go through, I activate it, I buffed and shaped off camera, and then I get to go through and do the top coating. I actually ended up using gels to top coat this Manny just because I used gels on my other hand. I thought, okay, they're already out. We're just gonna go with it. Make sure when you're using gels to top coat that you do a layer of gel base and cure that before you do the layer of gel top and cure that. And if you'd like to learn more about ombres and make sure you check out this next video. We're going to do another gorgeous ombre. Thanks for joining me today, Nail Crew.